Hey, what's up guys? Big Time Collector 01 here, back at it again with another action figure review. And today we'll be taking a look at the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Gold Label, Batman from the Batman Last Night on Earth, Jokerized version. I got this figure from the McFarlane Toys store alongside of with the Jokerized Hush. I got Harley Quinn too, but she will be coming in at a later date. As you can see, you got all the graffiti on the packaging. It feels like it's been a while since we got a Jokerized figure, and they just dropped three new ones, which I think is really dope. I'm really happy about that. I mean, I, I don't know if these are going to be Target exclusives. Here's the barcode, because that's usually where they're, they're found or exclusive to, but all three of these versions were only on the McFarlane Toy Store, which is really weird. So let's get to it and crack this figure open. And before we take a look at the figure, let's take a quick look at his accessories. Comes with your DC Multiverse base. As you can see, it's purple and green. Usually it has the logo of the character, but I'm surprised this one doesn't. Then he comes with a trading card. As you can see, it's all graffitied. You know, with all these different, you know, things. It looks awesome. Flipping it over to the back, you get a little bio. If you want to read it, pause it right now. And then he comes with four actual playing cards, which is really cool. He comes with the two of clovers, or clubs, or whatever you want to call these. Four of hearts. Uh, the ace, or nine of spades. And then the jack of diamonds, which is really cool. And they all have unique graffiti on them, which looks really dope. He also comes with the infamous card stand. I mean, these are always like a cool release. I like how they give the the card stands some graffiti for the Jokerized versions, but just like normal, I don't care for these things. And for his two only actual accessories, he comes with the same ones that we got with the last, you know, last night on Earth Batman, being that nightstick and the Joker head and the lantern, which is really cool. And with that, it's just like that previous figure, you can store the nightclub in this loop over here. Just, you know, nice to see some weapon storage. Now, let's take a closer look at the new Jokerized Batman. As you can see, it's just a 100% a repaint of the, you know, the first Last Night on Earth Batman. But I really like how this one looks. It just stands out with all this green and purple. And you've got these red X's. And I really like the head sculpt. Again, it's the same thing, but just a painted on smile just does a lot. It really changes up the look. And I've always liked this design. I always thought it was cool. I like how these, you know, these um, straps over here make like kind of a makeshift cape. And same with the ears, you know, they're just some straps, which look really cool. Same with like the gauntlets. So I really like this design and I really think it looks crazy in this green and purple motif. And I really do like it. I mean, th it might it might be a lot of you know, too much green if we're being honest, but still, I like these weird, crazy, wacky looks, and I'm all for it. A lot of people don't like these Jokerized editions, but the cool thing about them is they're exclusives, and if you don't like them, you don't have to buy them. But yeah, these are awesome. I really like how this one looks. Measuring out Batman, he comes to around seven and a quarter inches tall. No articulation since he's just a repaint. And then here he is next to a. Another Jokerized figure, we have the Jokerized Barbara Gordon. And here's this new Jokerized Batman up on the rotating base. And I have to say, this figure's pretty cool. Again, I really do like this color scheme. It's just a ton of green and purple, and I absolutely love it. These crazy looks for the, you know, these Jokerized figures look really good. I I really like this series, and I'm very glad to see it continue, because I thought they were finished with it, but... I'm glad that they're continuing it, and I really hope we get more in the future. Like, other characters I'd like to see are Red Hood, definitely Red Hood. The, you know, that um first infected Batman, that would be a cool one. And even branch out to other characters, that would be a great way, you know, to keep this line, you know, fleshed out and fresh. It'd be really cool to see, like, Superman in these colors. So I'm very glad that they're continuing this line with the Joker Eyes figures, because I really want to finish that deck of cards, because... I think it's really cool that these figures come with actual playing cards. Again, this isn't for everybody. A lot of people don't like these. But hey, you don't have to buy them if you don't like them. And these are online exclusives. You know, at the to uh, McFarland Toy Store, you can get Batman, Harley Quinn, and Hush there. I don't know if they sold out yet. I know they just restocked on them. That's how I got Harley Quinn. But <clears throat> hopefully, they again, we see more characters in this line. 
Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.